Oil with a specific gravity of 0 0.8 forms a layer 0 0.9 meters deep in an open tank that is otherwise filled with water. The total depth of water and oil is 3 meters. What is the gauge pressure at the bottom of the tank? The situation diagram shows oil floating on top of water. Dimensions are given. The datum is located coincident with the bottom of the tank. For water, the specific weight is looked up at 10 degrees C. The value is given here. The goal is to find the pressure at location 3, which is the bottom of the tank, in units of kilopascals gauge. The first idea is we can recognize that we have a hydrostatic pressure distribution. And what that means, the pressure right here is zero gauge because it's exposed to atmosphere. As we go down in the oil, the pressure will increase. And then as we go down in the water, the pressure will increase further. If we make a plot of that, let's draw an axis like this. And let's put pressure on this axis and make increasing pressure go in that direction. And so the pressure here is zero gauge. And the pressure will increase linear, linearly down to the oil-water interface. And the slope of this is gamma oil. And then in the water, the pressure will also increase linearly, but the slope will increase because now we have a larger specific weight. Let's sketch that. Come there, boom. Kind of like that. Let's extend this axis out. And each distance here, this represents the pressure at this depth. This represents the pressure at this interface. This represents the pressure at this depth right here. And this represents the pressure at the bottom of the tank. The second idea is that we can apply the hydrostatic equation to the oil. So we can apply the hydrostatic equation there because this is a region of constant density. We can apply the hydrostatic equation to the water because this is a region of constant density. What we cannot do is define a point here and a point here and apply the hydrostatic equation between these two points because the density is changing between oil and water. Let's write the hydrostatic equation for the water. We have P2 over specific weight of water plus Z2 is equal to P3 over specific weight of water. Term by term analysis. P3 right here is our goal. Specific weight of water we've already looked up. Z3 is zero because that's where we situated our datum. Uh, elevation two, Z2, is 2.1 meters. Specific weight of water is known, but we do not know the pressure at elevation 2. And so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to write the hydrostatic equation for the oil. So this is the hydrostatic equation for the water. Now let's write the hydrostatic equation for the oil. So the hydrostatic equation for the oil is P1 over gamma oil plus Z1 equals P2 over gamma oil plus Z2. Z2 is 2.1 meters. Um, the pressure at 2 is our goal. The specific weight of the oil, we don't know, although we know the specific gravity. Uh, the elevation of 1 is 3 meters, and the pressure at 1 is 0 gauge, because that is the free stream, or excuse me, this uh, point is located at the top surface. And so we have two equations and three unknowns, so we need one more equation. And our third equation is the definition of specific gravity. So if we write uh, specific gravity is specific weight of the oil ratio to the specific weight of water at 4 degrees C. This value is given. We can look this up, and this turns out to be turns out to be the same value 
as the specific weight of water at 10 degrees C. And so we can use this equation now to find the specific weight of oil. And if you look carefully through these three equations, you'll quickly identify we have three equations, three unknowns. Problem is cracked. Let's go ahead and solve the problem. Now the calculations are very straightforward. We begin by calculating the specific weight of oil. Calculation is shown here. Answer here. Next we calculate the pressure at 2. So here's the work and here's the final result. Let's look at how the grid method is applied. I'm going to go over to the whiteboard. So 3 meters minus 2.1 meters is 0 0.9 meters. So P2 equals 0 0.9 meters times gamma oil from the previous step that is 78.48 and that's in units of newtons per cubic meter. We want this to come out in pascals. So a pascal is a unit of pressure, force per area. So newton per meter squared like that. The newtons cancel. We have meters squared times meters. That gives us meters cubed, which cancels the meters cubed here. And the pressure at location 2 comes out to be 763 pascals. Lastly, we calculate the pressure at 3. The work is shown here. The answer is given right here. Notice that it's specified as kilopascals gauge. Notice also that we round to three significant digits. To validate, notice that the tank contains three meters of liquid. Most of this is water, so what if we just assumed it was three meters of water? Here's the calculation, and we recall that 10.33 meters is exactly equal to one atmosphere, or 101.3 kPa. And our estimate is 30 kPa, which is very close indeed to the calculated value. This gives us confidence in our answer. Notice the use of engineering practices. We used three scientific principles. We visualized the pressure distribution. We used the hydrostatic equation twice. And we used the definition of specific gravity. And lastly, notice that we rounded the answer to three significant digits. Same place as the last. At times I find I'm all.